What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, we are not like in like the top of the top to top to top top top, but San Diego State is, man. They're they having a fantastic season. As you can see, they just beat West Virginia. That makes it 10 wins for them this season. They're sitting at 10 and 1, and they are ranked in the top 10, but they're not going to probably get to the BCS title game, even though they have the same record as some of the top teams in the nation. As far as we are concerned, it's kind of been a down year, kind of been a mixed year, if you will. We should have beat Florida State last week, but should have, would have, could have. Where we are ranked number 52 in the nation. We went 6-2 and two in conference. We are wrapping up the season versus Florida A&M. Now, if we win this game, hopefully we can get, you know, our rank up just a little bit. If not, then, you know, it won't be that way. That play right there is going to help us. So, I want to impress the computer, okay? The BCS was a computer program. In case you forgot, I want to impress the computer and the algorithm. So, we got to put a whooping on Florida A&M. I usually try not to run up the score too much if I know I'm going to beat a team, but hey, okay, it is what it is at this point. We got to do it. It doesn't really help us in the conference as far as trying to get to the conference championship, but at the end of the day, we need help. We knew we knew after we lost to um, a couple of teams in conference that we were going to need some help, so hopefully we get that help and we can get to the conference championship game, but we have a bowl game that we want to play as well, and hopefully with an impressive win right here, that bowl game can be an impressive one as well. All right, so they're going to throw the ball over the middle. Going to find their big tie in making the catch. And they go, up that guy with the fullback. I mean, the tailback looking like a fullback rumbling and bumbling and picking up a first. And they give to him again and again. He's loose. And he gets all the way down to the 11-yard line. So first down and 10. Defense, I need your defense. I'm begging. And we get to stop right there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Major block to the left side. He cuts it back to the right side. Runs through a couple of tackles. And now it's going to be third down and three. They give it to the fullback. And the fullback drags in the defender. Touchdown, Florida A&M. And just like that, we are down by seven. So forget about embarrassing this team. We need to just beat this team, right? I know. So we crossed the 50. Good kick return by McCoy. It is senior day, technically. Okay, we got to make sure we give our seniors some playing time. But man is a grown man. He taking that thing down the sideline. And their offense might be well ahead of their defense at this point. Because that, that safety was slower than slow. But there goes their tailback. He has some good speed and some good power, as you can see. And they pick up a good gain on first down from the 33-yard line. Going over the middle. That pass is caught. And just like that, they're up close to the 50. They're at the 49-yard line looking downfield. That pass will fall incomplete. That's going to bring up second down and 10. We send the blitz and we get in the backfield. And we're having Sunday dinner. Okay, it's delicious. They're going to throw it over the middle again. It's going to be caught, but not quite enough for a first down. So after a good punt, we take over. Looking downfield, we're going to find Samson. And Samson is loose inside the 20. High stepping like prime time. Takes it to the crib, baby. And we are up 14 to 7. Looking downfield on third down. That pass is tipped and cooked. He's cooking the other way, baby. Gets the INT off of the tip by Craig Williams. And we're doing our thing to end the first quarter. I don't know what happened with my voice right there, but it is what it is. Smith rolling out. And Quentin Smith decides to keep it, and he keeps it for a first down. I'm loving it, baby. Let's do our thing. First down and 10. Man to the outside, and he's going to walk into the end zone again. Second rushing TD for him. That's what I like to see. Third down and 10 again for Florida A&M. And that pass... Good coverage by Glover. That pass is a chance. We run the ball with man one more time. Again, that safety is slower than slow, bro. He needs to get on the track team. Not because he can help them win some track meets, but because he needs to improve on the speed. Like, seriously. Third down and five. That pass is going to be caught, and they convert on third down. They're down by 21. They need all the momentum that they can get. Breaking the tackle is number 30, and then he gets dropped. So now it's going to be second down and eight. Number eight lets it fly. Caught, and he's off to the races. Picks up the first down. And defense, what's going on, baby? We, we got to get this thing under control. So we kind of do right there. That pass hits the grass. Second down and eight. Toss play. Looks like a, It looked like a QB or a halfback pass. And that's not the move that you want to do. They throw it to the halfback. He makes the catch, but gets thrown to the turf by Sullivan. And we take back over. Smith looking downfield. Throws it, nearly intercepted, but nearly does not nearly get the job done. Second down and 10. Rolling out of Smith, looking for Heron, who makes the catch up to the 30. Crosses the 40, crosses the 50, and the man is gone. Touchdown, JSU. So 35-7 is now the score. They're in trouble, bro. 
Okay, they are in trouble. This is what I saw happening before I even turned on the game. I was like, okay. This week, we got to impress some people by blowing out a team that we should beat easily. That pass should have been an INT, but I'm going to just take the incompletion. Because on the very next play, play fake. Looking downfield. Perfect pass to Thompson, who tips toes, crossed the goal line. And that's 42 big ones here in the first half. They run the ball up that guy, and he's going to fall forward. And looks like he has enough for a first down, and he does. Second down and 10 for the 26. Looking down, fielding, throwing that thing right to Cook, who's cooking his second INT of the ball game. He's a senior as well. We, we only had him for two years. He's a junior college transfer. But all I know is senior day is popping for him. Thompson weaving through travel like a Mama's new hair doing that's going to be a touchdown, baby. We forced them to go three and out. So they got to punt the ball to McCoy. And McCoy makes one man miss, and he's too fast, man. Down the sideline, inside the 20, inside the 10. Make sure there's no more time on the clock, and that's going to do it for the first half of play, baby. 55 points. Tack on the PAT. 56 points here in the first half. So I'll bring him my backups. McCoy, he's technically my backup running back. So I'm going to let him finish out his career. We're trying to put some more stats on his stat sheet for senior day. Why not? Samson, he makes the catch. Gets hog tied down. And that's still going to be a solid game. We give it to the big fullback. And Neil picks up a first down for real. Now we run the ball with McCoy again. Turns the corner. And I'm like, McCoy is loose. Not loose enough, though. He gets caught from behind. But does pick up a solid gain. At this point, he's dog tired. And that's why I like to use different running backs throughout the game. Because they get tired quickly when they're beasting and feasting. That pass, ugly, ugly Tyrone Sharp. I'm trying to let you eat, bro. I believe Sharp is a senior as well. I'm trying to let him eat. But I'm not about to get embarrassed here, okay? We have got to impress this. Uh, the, the freaking computer about to say the CPU boy it is a computer, but you know what I'm saying, okay? Looking up the field is my boy Racklin trying to find some running room. He can't do it, so here we go. Sharp looking down field one more time, rolling out, tucking it and running up to the 30. First down in his back pocket, and we got this thing marching up the field from the 34 yard line. Sharp throws it in the coverage. That's gonna be intercepted. And at this point, Sharp has seen enough. Okay, it's time for him to think about a different career at this point. That pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10. And they're going to run the ball. And they're weaving through traffic a little bit. Then we lay the smack down. They go to the end zone touchdown. And Florida A&M is not going away. So bring in Jackson, Craig Jackson, who is a athlete turned quarterback. Basically, he has great speed, but he fumbles the football right there. You can't do that. Not in this offense. No fumbles, baby. No fumbles. You feel me? Second down and 10 from 32. Looking downfield, and that pass is going to be caught, and they're off to the races now, as now they get inside the 20. So they're inside the red zone. What can they do with it? Play fake. I thought I had a sack, but I thought wrong. Touchdown. Florida a and them the Rattlers continue to come. So 56-21 is now the score. McCoy back in the ball game takes a nasty hit, but he picks up a first down nonetheless. Jackson, he has it on the option, pitches it to McCoy. McCoy trying to get out of a tackle. He can't quite do it, but he will pick up a gain of seven. Rattler back in the ball game. He racking them up. That's a first down, and that's going to move the chains at the 50-yard line. Rattler gets to carry again up to the 40, crosses the 35, crosses the 30, and now we're inside the red zone zone again as we get the ball up to the 19 yard line good spin move right there and then the feet keep turning okay it keeps turning the engine keeps burning let the engine burn baby jackson trying to get to the end zone can't quite do it so here we go man second down and goal from the one mccoy gets into the end zone again that's what i like to see one on the ground one on the punt return that's how you wrap up your career and he has Possibly, I would know we have a bowl game, but maybe we have a conference championship game as well. First down and 10 for the AM. Looking downfield, and that pass is going to be broken up by Rhodes. Again, we have our backup defense in, so Rhodes, he bats that thing away. Now we get a tackle right there. Now we're down there looking at third down and six. And on third and six, give me that Yahoo! Zay, her. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. We got this thing on back the other way. Are we done with him? No, we're not quite done with him. Looking downfield is Jackson. Davis with the diving catch. His hands are marvelous. Second down and 10. We're going to run the ball with McCoy. No room to speak of as we get laid down at the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. McCoy gets smacked down yet again. So we got to settle for a field goal. The kick is up and the kick is good. 
66-21 is now the score. What can Florida A&M do? It's a fumble. They can't do nothing but give us the ball back with time to pad some stats and maybe increase the lead as well. Racklin getting loose. Racklin juking for no reason that second time. That was an unnecessary juke. I thought that that defender was a little bit faster. That's my mistake. Racklin probably could have been in the end zone. We're going to pitch it to him, though. He's up to the 10, up to the 5, and he will get into the end zone, baby. And that's going to do it. 73-21 to 21 is the final. We still have an outside chance of possibly, possibly winning 10 games. That's if we got some help and we get to that conference championship game, all right? We passed the ball decently. Quentin Smith was on fire, but Sharp, I mean, it wasn't a good day for him. Man, three carries, 117 yards, and three TDs. Pretty easy work for him. McCoy finishes with 74 yards plus a touchdown. Sampson averaging 49 yards per catch. A lot of that came on that one catch for a TD. Smith led the way with eight tackles, one for loss. Uh, Conception, two for loss, plus a sack. Wallace also got a sack as well. Then Cook and Reyes, they all got uh, interceptions. And then you can see conference championship game. We get some revenge, possibly. We lost to UCF in a close game. 35 to 24, I believe, was the final. Can we get some revenge in the conference championship game? I'm happy that we made it. We win this game, win our ball game. It will be a 10 win season, and that's what I'm looking for, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of your day is the best of day. I'm going to see you in the conference championship game. You better be there. You better be there. I'm going to know if you're not. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.